Good, nice and quick. I'm Jack Grinstead, I'm the uh, under 18s uh, strength and conditioning coach at uh, Fulham Football Club. My role is ensuring the, uh, the physical conditioning and preparation of, of the under 18 academy players, both on field and in the gym. The players that came in today, they were in to get a taste of uh, what a session would be like during, during pre-season. 30 seconds on each side. Pre-season is a, is a very important time because it's a long, drooling season, over nine months. So in that six weeks, it's really important that we get the players up to speed and make sure that they, they have the physical capacity to withstand the, the long duration of the season. Nice and aggressive with your step. There's a bit of a misconception that it's all about running and all about just working without the football. That's not true. During pre-season, the football is involved. My role as a, as a strength and conditioning coach is to ensure that the session is put on in, in a way that meets the demands and fits the demands of a training session that is suitable for the boys to go and perform in the match at the weekend because ultimately that's that's what it's all about. Good, nice big chest. That's it, swing through. Think about your angles. We have a squad of 20 players. Everyone has different strengths and weaknesses. The Next biggest thing, in. especially during pre-season, is endurance, aerobic endurance, to be able to withstand the demands of, of the game. Day one, we, we test players. And if players don't come in on the stand as they need to be, then ultimately we know there's, they need to do extra sessions. So we get them in, we try and work with them. We, we explain to them that this is the level you need to be at and you're slightly below at the moment. And this is what you need to do to get to the level which is expected and needed to excel within, within the football environment. We get boys in before training in the morning. So we do upper body conditioning. So some form of like boxing or rowing or our 40 circuit. There will be a session for 90 minutes uh, most of the time and then there'll be an extra 10, 15 minutes at the end for those boys who, uh, who need the extra, extra, extra work. This will either be running based on their, their, their individual GPS stats or it will be a session with the football coaches where there's disguised running incorporated within the session. So players are essentially they're working on a technical skill but they're also working on a physical skill at the same time. We have a clear pathway from 18s to 23s and then from 23s into the first team. So there is what we call exit criteria. Most of the data we collect is very objective. So we can, we can know where a player needs to be physically to go from under 18s to 23s and from the 23s to the first team. And we're lucky that the first team are very happy to share data and share criteria in terms of what they expect from players to, to play in the first team. So we know what we're aiming towards essentially, which is, which is a positive. <laughs>